All right, so today I'm back again with episode Nagi, but today, ladies and gentlemen, we will go over the 10th chapter, where things really start to heat up, as Team Nagi faces off against Team Asagi, and this match will be absolute heat. Anyway, I'm not going to hold you here for any longer, as I know that you guys want to get right into the chapter, so just be sure that you leave a like, a comment, and of course, subscribe to the channel. And while you are at it, you could always join the Discord server down in the comments. But with all of that out of the way, let's finally get into it. In the room, as Nagi is busy playing his games, Nagi then thinks that ever since he came to Blue Lock, he has been kind of weird, as he couldn't understand why he tried so hard. It might be because Baru makes fun of him and Ryo, or because Baru just pissed him off, but feels like that doesn't quite explain this feeling. Ryo tells Nagi that this is their last match, as they've won all our matches so far, so they're definitely moving on, but they're still going all out to win this. Zantetsu agrees that they shouldn't let their garden go with the wind, but Ryo shuts him down instantly as he tells Zantetsu that he wasn't even close to saying the right thing. Nagi thinks that he feels so hazy. Ryo is so excited as this is the time for the first selection's last battle, but it's just a pain, and Zantetsu is hoping not to let his garden go still, not realizing that he is saying it wrong. When Ryo asks him why there are only 10 of them, when Zantetsu mentions that the trader's guy is off in the corner, because even if they win, he will still advance as the top scorer, so he is planning to slack off. As Nagi kicks off, Ryo mentions that they would have still won, even if they were 11. Nagi is wondering if everybody here likes soccer. After that, Isagi shouts Igarashi's name. Nagi still couldn't understand what soccer was to them. If that dream of theirs was life itself, Team Isagi tried to make a goal, but it didn't work. Ryo thinks that their goal attempt was so interesting asking Nagi to try it, but it still looks like a pain to Nagi. Ryo takes control of the ball and shoots it up on the field. Nagi still in his mind can't understand what soccer is to him, as he doesn't understand if it's just a way to kill time or just going along with what Ryo wants or if it's just a game, he has no idea. And now he makes the goal look like a piece of cake to him, asking the guy how he had missed something like that. Even thinking about it is such a pain, but he can't help it. Ryo praises Nagi for his skills, mentioning that it's just like he pictured it. Nagi looks at Ryo, asking him if he can slack off, when Ryo asked him not to, and to get 5 more goals first. Nagi asked if 4 would work, but he didn't agree, and 5 more was still a pain for Nagi, asking his team to hurry up and finish the game. Isagi was freaking out when Nagi scored the second goal again. Team Z asked his members to calm down as it was just the start, but Zantetsu did the third one too. All the Team Z members are now totally worn out. Ryo smirks, mentioning that it's all over, as in the end, all the teams were the same. Nagi also thinks to himself that Team Z is just like every other team. However, he still has this hazy feeling to him. Ryo is so happy thinking that they will finish the game. But as the game restarts, Bachira takes over the ball when his team members ask him not to take it all to himself. But he smirks, mentioning that the monster inside him is saying that when things look dire, don't get scared. Get excited, in fact. Ryo's eyes pop out to see his determination, as it's a faint spin. As now he reaches Zantetsu, he mentions that there is no way he is letting him leave, but he manages to do it with a mid-air elastico. Nagi was so shocked, thinking about how in the hell Bachira was as he made the goal. He smirks, mentioning that they should look as the things are getting interesting. Nagi looks at them celebrating, and wonders if that's what fun is. Ryo mentions that it looks like they're getting kindred spirits, and Zantetsu tells him that it looks like it's not over yet. Ryo later says that it's interesting, and that it means that they have to crush them completely. But it's still the pain for Nagi. Nagi looks at Isagi and Bachira and says that to them soccer is fun, but he never thought it was fun. He wonders if Team Z knows what these hazy feelings are, but then he takes a total spin as he wonders why he is getting so heated all of a sudden. Now Team Z gets the ball, trying to score the goal. Isagi shouts at him not to lose nerve. He looks at Kunigami with determination and asks him to fight as he's going to be a superhero. And now that he has done the second goal, Kunigami shouts with happiness. Zantetsu is getting stunned as they're winning even if they have 10 players. Ryo mentions that they're catching up, asking them to give him a break. But Nagi's still confused, trying to figure out the reason they were fighting so hard. As the team takes the ball, a guy shouts at Gagamaru to give him the ball. Nagi still wants to know the egos of all the strikers. Now Isagi took over the ball, and Nagi thinks back to the time when Isagi told him not to look down on soccer. Nagi runs after Isagi, asking him, why don't they just give up gracefully, as those guys are totally different from everyone else they have beaten? And why do they keep trying, asking him if he is stupid, as he just doesn't get it? 
saying that if he had Isagi's level of talent, then he would have quit soccer by now, asking him to tell him what the reason is behind it. Isagi asks him to shut up, calling him Sherlock, and mentioning that he is on a roll right now. Nagi couldn't understand him, as he just got mad instead of explaining. He couldn't understand what's his deal now. Shigiri from Team Z gets the ball from Isagi. Zantetsu runs after him to catch up with the ball, but he loses at top speed, which makes Nagi more stunned. And then Team Z makes their third goal, and after they start shouting with happiness. And now both teams have the same score. Team Z's Quan shouts at Team V that, what are they doing as they should get it together, calling them idiots, asking them if they were not embarrassed to be losing to a team that is short of a player calling them dumbasses. Nagi thinks that Ryo is getting worried, thinking if he, Zantetsu and Ryo are going to lose. As the game restarts, Reichi asks Ryo if he is really that scared of losing, calling him an undefeatable, sheltered dweeb. Reichi clinches his teeth, mentioning that he is going to provide him with his first loss. Ryo is freaking out. Nagi thinks that even though Ryo looks like something is wrong, Nagi decides to ask Ryo to give the ball to him. Ryo looks at him with shock, and then Nagi takes it. He thinks that he is actually trying again, even though it's a pain. He tells Ryo that he is going to give it a try, and he runs towards the goal. And now his body is moving faster than he thinks, and his spirit is accelerating faster than his body, and he wants to verify this curiosity. Team Z shouts to block the attack, but it's too late as the ball goes straight to Nagi. Nagi thinks that he wanted to prove himself with soccer, and after that, he did his spectacular and mind-blowing goal. He falls down, thinking that he's getting so heated, and he feels a bit better. After that, he calls Ryo, mentioning that soccer is fun, and he stands up. The score of Team Vi is 4, and that of Team Z is 3. Team V is shouting and praising Nagi as they take the lead again. Zantetsu hugs him, calling him a genius and fantastic to which Nagi mentions that it was a nice pass, and agrees it's correct. Nagi then asks Ryo how many more points they need, who looks at him in shock. On the other side, Team Z is freaking out, mentioning that if they don't take the lead in the next 15 minutes, they have screwed up, so they should attack until they die. A man known as Raichi is holding Isagi by the collar, while Zantetsu looks at them, mentioning they're not out yet. Ryo tells Nagi to get one more point, saying that if the score gets one more point, they will win. Nagi still cannot understand why everyone is getting so heated, thinking that it's such a pain, so he agrees with Ryo's instincts. As the game starts again, Zantetsu tells the guy that this time he will stop him, but Chigiri calls him stupid four eyes. Nagi looks at him, thinking that the redhead is planning to rush in again, so in that case, he will go to the point where he will pass Zantetsu and stop him. He goes further, telling him that he will take this, calling him princess. However, out of nowhere someone else comes by, it's Isagi who tells Nagi that he is too naive. Chigiri calls Isagi a good boy and mentions that he will give Isagi a pat on the head later, but as he goes to shoot the ball, it hits the post. Reo gets hope as he couldn't make the goal, but the ball later falls to Kunigami, who was standing a bit away. The ball falls perfectly, and Kunigami does his own wave attack, which flawlessly goes into the goal. They shout in happiness as the score is now equal. Nagi is still standing confused as he witnesses the heat from them fighting with all they have. Team Z shouts to get one more goal. They know they are going to win as the game restarts. Nagi thinks that he has no idea that this kind of world existed. And if he scored a goal amidst this fanaticism, how good it would feel. He wonders as Zantetsu gets the ball. Chigiri shouts, mentioning that he is not going to let him pass. But Zantetsu mentions that it's too bad, as right now they have an eager prodigy on their side. Nagi says good to Zantetsu, and now Isagi is running after Nagi. It's again a pain for Nagi as he is waiting for the moment to trap it. He could not guess if he should go right or left or if he was planning to defend based on a split-second judgment. He could not understand if he should do it, so in the end, he felt that he would improvise his response and do the trap with his back. He freaks out as he actually grabbed it with his back. Team Z shouts at Isagi to stop him, but Nagi is feeling surprised, thinking that he is amazing and he didn't know he could do this stuff. This feels incredible to him. But to his surprise, Kwan grabs his face, causing Nagi to fall and commit a foul for malicious interference with a scoring opportunity. Kwan gets a red card, and now he is out of the game. Nagi asks him what he is doing. Ryo shouts, asking Nagi if he is okay. He runs towards Kwan, asking him what his problem is when Zantetsu asks him to stop, warning that he will be out too if he gets a yellow card again. Nagi tells Ryo that he is actually fine. He says that he was pretty amazing before that, and never imagined anything like that. It just keeps rushing out of him. Soccer is something he has never seen this side of himself before. Now he is changing.
It feels weird, but it's fun as he wonders what kind of him is waiting ahead of here. Ryo asks Nagi if he is hurt, and now he just wants his own goal. Team V gets a free kick. Team Z asks their members to form a wall a little more to the right. They have got to stop them as this is do or die, and they should watch out for Nagi. Nagi is waiting for Ryo to pass the ball to him, but Ryo decides to shoot for the goal on his own, but ultimately misses. Nagi freaks out, as he cannot guess that in the end, Ryo is playing for himself too. Zantetsu shouts, stating that now it's his territory, and he shoots the ball, but Team Z has made a wall. Nagi gets the ball, hoping for one point. He tries to make the goal, and as he shoots, thinking he has won, but not yet. Gagamaru in the absolute last second manages to come in and stop the ball. Nagi freaks out, as he could not guess this could happen. Isagi is looking, seeing that it's their last chance. Team V tries to stop him as he is making a counter. Bachira has the ball and sees Isagi in the goal zone, and he sends over a pass to Isagi. As Isagi sees this, he calls Bachira the best. However, Nagi comes by his side and tells Isagi not to think that Nagi is letting him go, and tells Isagi that right now he is the most dangerous one on this field. Nagi thinks that Isagi will touch the ball first, but before he shoots, he always has to grab the ball to position it in a favorable spot, so he will steal it when Isagi does that. And then once again, he will counter him and end this with his own goal, asking Isagi now to bring it on. He thinks of soccer and this heat, knowing he can't be beaten as he will swallow Isagi as a whole. But before he can even try and take the ball from Isagi, he actually shoots the ball right as it comes to him which is something that he usually doesn't do. However, in this insane moment, the shot from Isagi goes into the goal. In that moment, Nagi definitely sees it. A shining light, and a moment when a person is reborn. He freaks out, picks up the ball, and asks Ryo if there is still time. And if they can score two more points, they can win. Ryo is shocked to see Nagi in this condition. But before he could do something, the game is over, and Team Z wins the game. Nagi's eyes pop out. It's over, and this feverishly hot time is ending. He might have been able to be reborn too, but the reason that got Nagi so heated was the thought of his own goal. But now everything has been stolen away by Isagi. Nagi calls Ryo, thinking that losing after giving his all is something which he has never felt before, but now that he knows how it feels, he says that it feels so frustrating. Anyway, if you like Blue Lock and videos like this, then I would highly suggest you subscribe to this channel. And while you are at it, leave a comment and a like, as it helps out with the algorithm a ton. And if you are curious to see another video of mine, then please watch the video that will be popping up on the screen now. Anyway, thanks for watching, and have a great day. Bye.